Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Today's topic, Salmonellosis and Salmonella bacteria. Salmonellosis is a disease that causes fever and illness in the gastrointestinal area. The biological agent responsible for the disease is a group of bacteria called Salmonella. There are various species of Salmonella and their serotypes that may be involved in the disease. First, let's know about the Salmonella bacteria in detail. Salmonella cholerasoes was the first species that was isolated from a pig intestine by a scientist named Dr. Daniel Salmon. It is a gram-negative, rod-shaped, motile, flagellated bacteria. Multiple flagella are present around the cell. This arrangement of flagella is called peritrichus flagella. Fimbri also present in Salmonella bacteria and it is a facultative anaerobe. That means it can grow with or without oxygen. Salmonella bacteria belongs to the Enterobacteriaceae family. There are different serotypes of Salmonella species and based on their serotypes, there are two types of Salmonella, typhoidal and non-typhoidal. Typhoidal type is caused by Salmonella typhi medium typhi. Here typhi is the name of serotype. Other Salmonella species that can cause typhoidal salmonellosis is Salmonella paratyphi A, B or C. Here A, B, C are name of serotype. And non-typhoidal salmonellosis is caused by Salmonella enterica or Salmonella bongori. Salmonella enterica enterica serotype is mostly responsible for non-typhoidal salmonellosis in humans. Other serotypes involved can be Salmonella enterica aerizoni, Salmonella enterica salmi, Salmonella enterica diarizoni, Salmonella enterica indica, Salmonella enterica hotinae. Rarely, human infection caused by Salmonella enterica aerizoni and Salmonella enterica salmi. Other serovas are frequently found in cold blooded animals. In typhoidal type, Prominent symptoms are fever and septicemia and in non-typhoidal type, Salmonella disease, main symptoms are enterocolitis and food poisoning. I have mentioned Zerova word many times. What is Zerova? Zerova are groups within a single species or subspecies of bacteria that can be distinguished from each other based on their surface structure or antigenicity. Like Salmonella typhi medium typhi, here Salmonella is a genera, typhi medium is a species and typhi is serotype. Salmonella serotyping is determined by the expression of antigens on their surface. Major antigens are O antigen which is present on the outer membrane of bacteria, H antigen present in flagella and K antigen which is present on the capsule. Source of Infection how one can get an infection of Salmonella? Salmonellosis is a foodborne disease. When food items or drinks are contaminated with feces and healthy people consume that contaminated item, they get the infection. And what are these items? When water, beverages, raw fruits and vegetables are contaminated with feces, water contamination often results in explosive epidemics. Milk and dairy products like ice cream, cheese, custard, etc. contaminated with feces or if there is no pasteurization or inadequate pasteurization that will also result in salmonella losses. Third item is shellfish. Shellfish from contaminated water can cause the disease. Eggs from infected bird and chicken can be the cause of salmonella infection. Fecal contaminated meat and meat products or if they come from infected animals, uncooked and raw meat, poultry is the major reservoir of salmonella bacteria. Recreational drugs like marijuana and other drugs, dyes used in drugs, foods and cosmetics, household pets like turtle, dog, cats, exotic pets such as reptiles all can spread the disease. Human-to-human -human transmission is also very much possible. When person practices poor hygiene such as not washing hand properly after using toilet then handle food items can spread the bacteria. Apart from this, feces of the person who have unsuspected 
सब क्लिनिकल डिसीज और कैरियर कैन बी द पोटेंशियल सोर्स ऑफ इन्फेक्शन वैन ही प्रिपेयर्स और हैंडल्स फूड आइटम्स वॉच वीडियो ऑन टाइफॉड मेरी वन ऑफ इट्स काइंड टाइफॉड केस इन द हिस्ट्री लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो पैथोजेनेसिस ऑफ सामोनेला इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज पैथोजेनेसिस हाउ डिसीज डेवलप्स स्टेजेस ऑफ डिसीज प्लीज वॉच वीडियो ऑन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ डिसीज लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो द फर्स्ट स्टेप ऑफ पैथोजेनेसिस इज ट्रांसमिशन सामोनेला बैक्टीरिया एंटर्स द बॉडी बाय ओरल रूट वाइल कंज्यूमिंग फीकल कंटेमिनेटेड वाटर बेवरेजेस और फूड आइटम्स Infection can be transmitted from animals to humans and humans to human also. Colonization. Once ingested, Salmonella survive in acidic environment of the stomach. After that, Salmonella bacteria reach the intestine where they adhere to the intestinal wall with the help of fimbri and adhesins. Invasion. In the next step they invade the epithelial cells of intestinal mucosa multiply in numbers and produce an enterotoxin this toxin destroys epithelial cells by inhibiting protein synthesis and induces an inflammatory response after infecting one epithelial cell newborn salmonella bacterial cells reach to nearby host cells then tissues and organs and gradually infect the entire body at this stage bacteria start to secrete in stool clinical manifestation response or symptoms of salmonella the first prominent symptom is enteric fever which is also known as typhoid fever it is caused by salmonella typhi medium serotype typhi after an incubation period of 10 to 14 days fever malaise headache constipation bradycardia and myalgia occur malaise means tiredness fatigue bradycardia means uh, increase in heart rate and myalgia means pain in muscle or in group of muscle the fever rises to a high plateau and the spleen and liver become enlarged rose spots can be seen usually on the skin of the abdomen or chest in rare cases next symptom is septicemia this is associated commonly with salmonella serotype cholera sos but may be caused by any salmonella serotype After oral infection there is early invasion of the blood stream with possible focal lesions in lungs bones and meninges etc but intestinal manifestations are often absent Next is enteritis or enterocolitis this is the most common manifestation of salmonella infection it is caused by salmonella enterica or salmonella bongori different serotypes may be involved Incubation period is 8 to 48 hours after ingestion of salmonella. Symptoms can be nausea, headache, vomiting and profuse diarrhea with few leukocytes in the stool. Low grade fever is common. Inflammatory lesion of the small and large intestine are also present. Bacteremia is rare except in immunodeficient person. Recovery. Severity of infection depends upon serovar involved in the infection. The immune system of healthy individual is often able to control and eliminate the infection leading to recovery. However, in some cases particularly in individuals with weakened immune system, chronic infections may occur. Diagnostic laboratory test of salmonella specimen In enteric fever and septicemia, blood gives positive results in first week of infection. In case of enteric fever, stool specimen gives positive result after second week of infection. When enterocolitis occurs, stool sample gives positive result from first week of infection and bone marrow sample and urine sample can also be used to establish the connection. Culture method used for diagnosis of salmonella differential media because salmonella is a non lactose fermenter media like amb mikanki desoxycholic medium permits rapid detection of salmonella selective media like hectoin enteric agar exeldi agar desoxycholic citrate agar favors the growth of salmonella over other enterobacteriaceae bacteria enrichment media like selenite af and tetrathionate broth favor the growth of salmonella if you want to see the video on culture media different types of culture media please watch the video i have given the link in the description box below
Serological method for diagnosis, first is the agglutination test. In this test, known sera and unknown sera are mixed on a slide. If clumping occurs, test is positive. Nowadays, kits are available for the detection of salmonella in samples. Vidal test, this test identifies O and H antigen in sample. Other tests include rapid colorimetric, ELISA and EIA methods. Nucleic acid amplification tests like PCR, RT-PCR, genome sequencing are also available for diagnosis of salmonella in sample. Recently, biosensors are also developed for rapid detection of salmonella. Treatment Antibiotics like ampicillin, trimethoprim, sulfomethoxazole or a third generation cephalosporin can be given to patient. Patients who are suffering from severe diarrhea, replacement of fluid and electrolyte intake is essential. Prevention and control. Sanitary measures must be taken to prevent contamination of food and water. Clean hand properly before cooking, eating and handling food items. Keep food and beverages away from pets, birds, rodents and other animals. Cook food properly. Avoid consumption of raw food in outside eateries. Salmonella carriers must observe strict hygiene practices. People should take salmonella vaccine where salmonella infection is endemic. It is recommended for travelers to take salmonella vaccine before traveling to the countries where salmonella infection is prevalent.